Hi everybody and welcome to this playthrough in Pro and Expert Division for the Backpacking Nine Hole Cup. Nice mix of holes here from three courses, Jamil Dunes, Kohong Resort and also Acacia Reserve. Before we get started with the replays, with a load of drops and also suggestions on alternatives, please hit thumbs up on the video and subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. Totally free to do so. On the channel homepage, loads of tutorials to help you improve your gameplay as well, regardless of what skill level you are in the game. Finally, join us on Facebook. Go over there, search for BK Golf Clash Facebook group, nearly 10,000 members, free guides and shot sharing posted there, so even more resources to help you drop loads of shots in this nine hole cup. Here we go then, let's get started with hole number one. Going to start with a par four from the Jamil Dunes, playing with some top spin and two bars side spin to the left. Tailwind here, obviously in expert division you can put a berserker on and blast it to green if you want to, but in pro we were playing this with safe layup. Uh, if you have headwind, you will need um, some overpower on this drive. Um, setting up at max distance with the extra mile eight, obviously you can use other wood, uh, other drivers as well. Adjustment max plus 10, push back up to max to gain distance. Now the second shot here, it's either going to be with the thorn, if you have tailwind angle on your drive, but if you have headwind, your drive won't be as far, so you're going to play near to minimum distance with the grizzly. So this one, second shot will depend on what wind angle you have and what drive distance. 400 yards, going to be absolutely fine with the thorn. And we're going to add some spin, a little bit of backspin just to steady the progress of the ball. In the end, I go with half a bar. And then finding my position, leaving the ball guide slightly short because we have tailwind angle here. In the end, this one I play um, exactly mid distance, 10% elevation. But as always, uh, if you have crosswind, you would need a little bit more elevation here. You're going to have to tweak the adjustment depending what wind angle we have. But this will show you the general idea, pulling over the bullseye, uh, the setup that was working well in this wind angle. And you can see we've got a very nice area to bounce on and the green isn't glitchy at all here. Uh, bounces nicely and we drop it for the eagle on this par four. Hole number two, we do have a hole in one here. Recommend to keep the wind below 6.6 .6 miles per hour. Just over five back spins, about 5.1, and just over one and a half right spin. So 5.1 back spin, 1.6 right spin. Blue ring touching the rough, and just look where the ball guide is there. It seemed to be long there to the right, but then you move it a click to the left, and it is a shorter ball guide. Second bounce just before the fringe. So find your position carefully. It is a tough one to find, but very important to do so. Adjustment max plus 30 max plus 30 on this one and use power two settings even if you don't use a kingmaker uh, if you get low wind with a kingmaker then you can use a katana instead so power two numbers then we are going to hit this one perfect and we drop it beautifully for a lovely hole in one tough par three though here so a drop here is a real bonus a real nasty wind angle here on this par five Kingmaker, four and a half top spin, two bars left spin. Plus 10 with the extra mile level eight, plus 12 with the extra mile six or seven. But if you do have a more accurate driver, honestly, I would go with that. Then we are going to adjust maximum distance, zero elevation. And look at the overpower we are adjusting into. You need to adjust with, apply, sorry, one ring more than you adjust into. So if you were just into one ring of overpower, then apply two rings to your shot and so on. Perfect ball and we're using inner wall left curl. Inner wall left curl. Bounces nicely and we get to a drive of 350 yards. Minor great left and great right will be fine with Thor's Hammer or Apocalypse. May not be fine with the extra mile. Second shot. Weird adjustment here, but what we're going to do before anything else, pull back seven rings. Pull back seven rings. Then we apply approximately 3.2 bars of top spin, 3.3 depending on position, and then find the position without moving up or down too much where the ball guide is one green square through the hole. Make sure you find a consistent position. Then regardless of your plus yardage or what, 
you are going to adjust max plus five. I do consider this to be an absolute money shot because I've dropped it three out of three. So pull back seven rings, add your spin. Ball guide one green square through the cup, then adjust max plus five. And a perfect ball here, in my experience, is going to be in the hole. drops beautifully for an albatross even though we have absolutely horrendous wind angle for the drive. Hole in one coming up, Katana ball and my reference here is the blue ring at plus three yards. 3.2 backspin, 1.5 side spin to the right. I was aiming at the pin there, but I just decided need a bit more right spin because we are having a little bit of crosswind here, so I do offset slightly. That's why I changed to 1.5 uh, right spin. And the adjustment here is max plus 15. Max plus 15. Do be advised here, though, if you have any headwind angle, best to play this hole with a quarterback. Rough bump offers an excellent opportunity, so this is just one of two possibles here. Sniper bounce over in tailwind, quarterback rough bump in any form of headwind. Drops nicely there for the hole in one. We're going to use the rock and a titan. Half of the red ring inside the rough on the right. Plus eight yard, uh, sorry, plus ten yards with the rock level eight. Max distance with the rock level seven. Plus nine with the rock level nine. 3.8 top spin, two bars side spin to the right. Then we are going to adjust max distance, 20% elevation. And once we've done that, we are going to take our shot with half a ball of curl to the right. Using the rock here because a great left, great right, it's still going to be safe. Perfect ball, and we want a drive distance of around 370 yards on this one. Doesn't matter if you're a couple of yards shorter or longer, because next shot we're going to play from the complete minimum distance line. So pack the grizzly in order to find the complete min very easily with the sniper. Blue ring touching the rough on the left at min. Then we're going to add spins to get the ball guide just through the hole. And you'll see when I zoom in here, it is favouring the left side of the cup just gradually. So just favouring left side of cup. Adjustment here, I play min plus zero, power three, but we do drop it right side, so I would suggest to get an extra decimal, you go min plus five, power one settings. Just gives you an extra 0.1, uh, which I do believe will drop this one right at the pin, which is obviously what we do want to try and do. So min plus five, Power one would be my suggestion here. The spins you need will vary depending on your position. Now we're going to look at an easy par five. One of the easiest in the game to get an albatross. May look tricky at first, and even in this difficult wind angle with the drive, it is very, very easy to dial in with a token or two. Going with some top spin, three bars side spin to the left. I'm using a kingmaker here. This is from Pro Division because it is a nasty headwind. Obviously in expert division, you can play this with higher level rock. If you've got tailwind, you don't need a massive amount of top spin. The important thing to do is lay up to the right hand side and before the bunker. You don't want to push it too hard down the left hand side because it takes away the funnel. We're just into overpower, so I am going to apply that on. No curl needed here because the right spin is going to do its thing. Max plus 10 is the adjustment here. Using the extra mile, do need to hit perfect though. If you're using high level apocalypse uh, or the rock, you can get away with a minor great left or right. We can use drive distance on this hole. It is linear, so 345 yards on the drive. And this second shot will vary slightly depending on the wind angle because you're going to have to look at offsetting the ball guide. So that means I'm not going to aim it at the pin in every single wind angle. We're going to offset. So because we have headwind and going slightly to the uh, from the left to the right, the ball guide I'm going to put deliberately past the hole. 
you can see there it goes at least two squares beyond and it's also missing left edge that is to compensate for the wind push in the end, this wind angle was playing mid-distance, zero elevation, plus 0 0.1. Um, but in other wind angles, you will need to under-adjust this shot. I found negative elevation works very well here. It's quite surprising you don't need to adjust this one much at all. And you can drop this one quite frequently with a minor great ball as well, because you've got a very nice funnel down to the pin, creeping in there on the right edge for the albatross. Now on this par 3 the rough bump is the best opportunity and because of where the tee boxes are you're going to most likely use the Goliath here because otherwise you will be out of max distance with the Grizzly unless you want to use a powerful ball or something like that. So using the Goliath and going with plenty of top spin and also 3 bar side spin to the left we're going to aim fairly close to the rough but it's not going to risk it with any accidental OP. Uh, the adjustment here is mid plus 20. We just missed this one, so it was one that did need a little bit of a tweak, but it gives you an idea of the approach. Obviously, if you don't fancy playing a rough bump, then you're just going to have to bounce over and take a safe birdie instead. But if you're after the hole in one, the rough bump is the way to go. Beware of a heavy great left. You may clip and uh, catch the bunker, but just burning the right edge on this one. So rough bump is the way to go for the hole in one. Titan ball here, four and a half top spin, two bars, side spin to the left. Just aiming straight down the middle of the fairway. Obviously, you don't want to bounce too far down or to the left. You may get a weird bounce and may roll too far, but this one is okay for me, so I'm not quite at max distance. So if you are having uh, extra mile six or seven, obviously I would play that at um, max but extra mile eight just backing up a little bit there perfect ball no need for any curl and this one runs very very nicely indeed do write down your yardage uh, values here because i do think we can use the slider now here you've just got to be careful about getting a glitch area and this does take me a little bit of a while to get sorted um, but I would be aiming between three and three and a half bars backspin, to be honest. And then you see the ball guide just glitching there, so I do decide just to move it back. I don't want to be shooting through the pin uh, with that much speed. So I'm moving it back here, and I play it in between min and mid. Zero elevation. This is in between minimum and medium distance. Perfect ball will drop nicely here. Obviously may have to play different elevation, use the slider in different wind angles, but there is a very good reference. A Titan ball is all we need here. So I'm just backing up slightly off max distance. And my adjustment here with my spin, which is uh, four top spin, two right spin, I go max plus 10. Max plus 10 on this one. If you are playing expert division, obviously we would recommend the Kingmaker as a minimum. We just want to make sure we get safely on the fairway so we don't endanger losing out on our eagle. And then half a ball of curl to the right. Perfect ball away. And then this one goes very, very nicely. We're not pushing it too hard. Okay, you maybe go with a click more topspin if you like, but I don't want to, uh, don't want to get into the rough. And we're fine here with the big dog or the cataclysm. Obviously go with a 180 yard wood club. And I'm just going with a click of top spin and a bit of left spin. And the adjustment here is maximum distance plus 20. And the plan is obviously just to make sure your second bounce is over the rough. As you'll see here when we adjust, look at the plus yardage. We do have a little bit of uh, tailwind takes us down to plus 10 but I'm not going to push up it's going to carry us over there nicely um, but for me just get this one to green if you get an albatross take it and run if not just secure your eagle bounce very comfortably over there not a miles away from the pin but I'm just happy to have a putt for an eagle 
Thank you for watching this playthrough video. Don't forget to join us over on Facebook as well as there is loads more content there from a load of different people. Free guides, uh, shot sharing as well and discussion points. You don't need to be actively posting yourself. You can just happily lurk and enjoy all the useful content in the game of Golf Clash. So head on over to Facebook, search for BK Golf Clash Group and join us over there.